uh, hi all uh, in this video we'll talk about volatility and how one can invest in the volatility uh, so let me uh, give you an example so suppose if I'm looking at a uh, Google right and uh, Google is currently at $700 so if Google is at $700 and I'm looking at the charts so the chart will look some something like that right? it can they can go up they can go down but I can see that the average price is around seven hundred dollars right and this is the the price and this is time right so so Google is around seven hundred dollars uh, if I look at uh, the fluctuations I can also plot something like that I can say seven hundred and I can say because because this is the moving average of Google uh, the most likely scenario for Google to be at seven hundred and then it can go far the distances and this is the Gaussian distribution and this is your probability right so the probability of being at 700 is higher but as you go either in negative direction or positive direction it changes right so what if I ask you what's the probability at 680 so you'll say it's not very likely to go at 680 so this is a low volatility scenario maybe so I'll call this as low low volatility right uh, now same same uh, case uh, now there is a news in the market so when there is a news uh, then I am looking at the price again and there is there are some news which is not uh, which creates panic in the market so in that case there will be more fluctuation in, in the market so the market will be going up or going going down right so this is what uh, the graph will look like so when you're looking at this case then uh, your your graph will look more like more like this and this is your moving average of 700 this is the probability right so so now you can see that if I'm looking at 680 there are some chances that it can end up at 680 or it can also go to 720 so the chances of it going to the uh, other extremes are higher so if you are a long-term investor you won't like it because it's 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 moving a lot uh, but if you are a daily trader or uh, so this is more of a opportunity but same time you're more likely to uh, lose some money or, or gain some money so there is a there is an opportunity here so we'll call it as a high volatility so now how will i invest in in this scenario so the idea is uh, pretty simple so let me again draw the volatilities here here so this is uh, our probability and uh, this is the price uh, we are looking at 700 and uh, this is how the Gaussian distribution looked like right uh, so now uh, if the market panics then the distribution will look more like this right so now what you need to do is when the volatility is high so volatility is high so in this case we look at this uh, price so 630 maybe and we'll call it as uh, 680 so if you sell a put so let's say sell put and then you also sell a call so you can either do this or you can either do this or you can also do both of them right so when you sell put and call so the value of the put and call will be high so maybe I'll call it like five dollars and this will be going to be five dollars so I'm talking about strike price of uh, 730 and here the strike price or not this will be strike price of 680 and here the K is 730 so now the chances for them to go up and down are more right so so you so you got a credit of plus ten dollars right and we all know that the when the volatility goes high it comes back 
quickly down right it it or sometimes it takes some time but it does uh, come back uh, eventually before it will move forward again because people are panic so they cannot remain panic all the time so they they will calm down someday so when they calm down then again these values will move down because now the probability to go at 5 is not there much right so this will become dollar 1 and this will become dollar 1 so when this happens then your total will be only dollar 2 left so you made a profit just not based on the stock fluctuation or just based on the like the price don't have to change but just based on volatility uh, you made a dollars gain so this is how you, you can invest in volatility uh, if you're looking for safe bet because it's not much easier for you to still invest in this you can also go much farther distance from the tail so now if i'm looking at uh, this distribution you can go way way far and this is your moving average right the moving average is 700 so you can go way far maybe may, you can go to 500 price range so when you're in the 500 price range you will still see a difference between high volatility and low volatility so when the volatility is very high this will go more like this so there will be still a difference between the two and uh, and you will be surprised for example if i'm looking at uh, uh 400 and no, not 400 maybe maybe let's call it 550 so if i'm looking at the 550 put it can go from two dollars to twelve dollars so k is 540 and this is the put price and this is low volatility and this is high volatility so the put price can go that much farther and when it goes that high then you can always invest in it and it's not likely that uh, stock is going to go th that far and this is i'm talking about around one year of put so when the market is panicked you can always sell this put at dollar 12 in the panic market and then you can buy it back at dollar two uh, when everything is calm so this is how you can invest in volatility again